Another cool thing, they're not doing this, but you can add palm eating to it. You know, you can take stuff that you're learning from songs and add techniques to them. Um, get as much out of it as you can. Then um, back to this one. Three times. Then um, an extended kind of uh, outro ending on this. Two minutes, one second in. I'd never heard this song before, which I, you know, you can tell that I don't know all the parts, but they are, you know, all in your tabs. But what I would do once again, like you just saw me highlight the chords. And then you fill in the pockets, you know, in this case we have the two open E's following each chord. So the C5, which is 3-5 on the A, D, two palm mutes on the E. Same thing on the second and fourth fret. 7A, 9D, same thing following it. And then 5-7 A, D, same thing following it. So it's chord, two palm mutes. Think of it like that. And then 7-9 A, D, 5-7, open two on the top two strings. And then it kind of breaks down here, two minutes, four seconds in. What he's doing, he's got the um, delay up and some uh, some reverb. And you can hear him, these little scratchy sounds. What he's doing is taking the pick and just kind of... Turn the, turn the delay up a little bit. I'm not sure how well that's cutting through. But um, you'll hear it. This is something that he, you know, if you were to see him live play this, it's not like it's going to be exactly in the same spot but however after a few of those there'll be a um, like a bigger pick scrape so just you know tilt in that pick and all right this part is actually my favorite in the song this is what i intro this lesson with um two minutes 16 seconds in and uh it's very similar to ain't talking about love just faster it's got that vibe though So, uh, palm mute, the first uh, five notes of this. It's open E, two A, and then third fret E, third fret A, second fret D. It looks like an E major shape, right? So it's, it's all palm muted. Open G after that without a palm mute. Open A, two D. This is palm muted. And I'd try to follow the fingering on this, Tim. Um, I think it'll help you. Ah, I've got a pulled muscle. Okay. So, you can piece it together like that. Then, no palm muting um, on these next series of notes. Open one on the B string, open high E. Play it up to there. Then on the high E, go three, five, two. I would use middle pinky in first, but it's not like you have to. It's at a speed where you can kind of experiment really with uh, the fingering. And then palm mute three B and open G. And then we're going to start it over, the first part of it, until you get here. You will do the open one on the B string, and then it changes, so. 2D, open A palm mute. It's pretty quick I was playing it, so it's easy to miss 
a note, but you don't want to because it will actually fill the progression off. And then 3 2 on the A and the E. And then palm mute um, the 3 2 on the low E string. It's got a little bit of a pinch harmonic happening in there. So this would be the whole section. So cool, man. Very, very cool. That whole part is six times total, um, leading us into section six, two minutes and 50 seconds. This kind of has that docking into the fire vibe on the beginning. So it's an E5, so open E to A. Third fret A, followed by open D, G, and B. Open A, 2 D. And then open A, open D, 2 G, 3 B. So we have. Do that twice. And then 3 2 A, 3 2 E. And um, pinch. He pinches some of those. I'd pinch the third fret off each string. If you want to do all of them, you can. And that whole thing's twice. And then the solo. This is wild. This is. Uh, hope you have a whammy bar. You want to go in the tabs. I wasn't even sure how to write this. The harmonic you want to hit. I do. The pickups and I put dead center on the G string there. Um, you want to get a that and then whammy it. Um, experiment, you know, because some you barely move it, you won't get the harmonic. So it's got to be just in the right spot. And then vibrato bar. Um, from there, you're going to use the open E string, swoop up on that. Uh, swoop up on the open E, and then drop it. You'll go. You actually can pull it past its resting point. Okay, moving on. Back to that natural harmonic in between the pickups again. This time you're going to hit it, whammy up, and vibrato. So it looks like this. Uh, losing it. Okay. Um, natural harmonics, you know, typically they're fret 5, 7, 12, but you can hit them up and down the neck. You know, a good little exercise I used to do to get used to uh, interesting sounding ones would be. And go past the neck, you know, go up here in the pickups. Because you can get some cool tones, but uh, that's, that's the pitch of his. Crazy, huh? Anyways, I think that's that's it for the whammy stuff on those harmonics. Um, three minutes, eight seconds in. We're going to go 12th fret B, pick, hammer 15, pull 12, and then 15, 12, G, B, down up. And then on the G, 15, pull 12, hammer 15, pull 12. Now he's moving on that. It's... Uh, Follow the picking for sure though, because when you go from the G, right there, you're going to go 12B, you want that to be an up, and then, because you're heading back to the 15G, pull the 12, hammer 15, pull 12. You can split that in half and go, and then add the, and then bring them together. Alright, from there, 
top of page five. We're gonna go 1512 GB down up again. So we have. And then go 14, pull 12 on the B. So take your index, go to 14 B, and we're gonna alternate pick this sequence of notes on the B string, 14, 15, 17, to 15, 17, 19. So if you're thinking in groupings of three, which you want to, um, that index has to jump up after each third note. To 15, 17, 19. You can experiment with fingering on that. 17, 19, 20. Er, there it is. So we have. And then there's one more. 19, 20, and 22. But if you just want to look at the scale. And then split it into threes. Okay, and then um, 20th fret on the B, which you're set up for that with your middle finger already, to 19, down up, and then 20 pull 19 twice, so it's, and then 21G, 19B, 21G, that's another um, example of wanting to go down, up, down, so you have, Three eleven for your next time stamp. Sixteen G, hammer seventeen, pull sixteen, and then nineteen sixteen D G. Back to nineteen D. Seventeen pull sixteen on the D. So here it is slow. Kind of a Randy Road style thing. Same thing. Um, for the most part, it'll be on the D and the A string. But your ending note will be different. So, when you get to the A string, go 17, pull 15. So if you think of the notes we did, now, okay, and there's one more that's similar to that. Um, Yes, 14 on the A, hammer 15, pull 14, and then 17, 14, E, A, 17, E, 15, pull 14. So they all have kind of the same feel in them. So now you look at this. Oops. like a six note um, little riff where we're going back and forth in it. From there, three minutes, 14 seconds. I believe this is the part where they jump into like a melodic part, harmony and stuff. Um, 14 D vibrato. Um, then we're gonna go 14 D into to the G string, palm muted, 12, 11, 14, 12, 11, 12, so it's, so you have, on the B string, 15, 13, 12, and then 14, 12, G, B. So, let's take from the palm meter, palm meter part here, we'll go. bomb open G rather than pick it just take like your middle finger or whatever finger you want your index stick it over the G the string number three and just act as if you're doing a pull-off the way you don't have the pick attack you know going in with that and then from there natural harmonic but this is in a, more of a normal spot 
fret four on the G. So uh. you want to be above the actual fret wire. One, two, three, four. We go to the G string and light, light pressure. And we're actually going to push the bar down a little bit, bring it past the note, vibrato it, and then dive bomb it. Sounds like this. Okay? Do that again. Okay, then back um, at 3 minutes 18 seconds, 16 G. And what you're going to do here is a series of trills or hammer pulls. You're going to pick the 16, hammer 17, and then I wrote three times under it, so it's. But it's quicker. So they're kind of in groupings of threes, and the last two are in groupings of twos. 14 to 16, same thing. But you really don't want to have rest in between them, so. Same thing, 12, 14 on the G. Same thing, 11, 12. So we've kept consistent with the threes, right? And then now, go 9G, hammer to 11, and that's going to be two times. Same thing on the 7th and 9th fret. So it's three times, three times, three times, three times, two times, two times. Um, from there, 7G, take your, I'd go third finger, slide to 9, vibrato. Palm mute, 7, 9, 7 on the G. So we have. And then 8, 7, B, 8, 10, B. So. Or from the vibrato. On the high E, go 8, 7, 10, 7. 